another show. It's 5.30, 5.35. So I'm doing another show where... I'm doing another show where I'm going to be creating this artwork here that you see here. I'll be painting this. It's an oil painting. This painting is about um, six foot by eight and a half foot. And this is of Luxor Haru, Hot Haru. So I'll be working on this today. So if you guys want to join me in my show, please do so. Please do so in the show. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do is move some stuff around in my studio. I have some paintings that I was working on. In off time, I'm just going to move these around into a different position so they don't get kind of mixed up with my other stuff. And then I'll get, get down to the painting. Okay, get down to the painting aspect. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to move another painting into position that helps to inspire the show, inspire the end of that paint. Got any easel. Okay, and I'm done. So, what I have here is another show that I'm doing. And of course, this will be 5, uh, 5 30 every day. And um, I'm just going to pan over so you can see other paintings that I've done. There's Tupac, and there's Nipsey. So these are other paintings that I've done. Above, there's Barack Obama. And then, of course, the current painting that I'm working on now have this one in play here that I'm working on now. So here we are and that's what we're going to be doing. So what I'm going to do is get my palette together, working on my palette and doing my thing here uh, which is painting this painting. Okay. All right. So today I think I'm going to focus on I kind of like a little bit more on Hot Haru. I know she's a little bit more distant on the Facebook page. Um, but to kind of maybe focus on maybe the Luxor Temple in this area as well. It's a little closer. It might be better for the Facebook viewers. Uh, for some of you, I've painted a little bit more of the undercoat for the face on the Haru character. Most of this painting so far is just undercoating painting. So that's basically what I'm doing there. So. And then for my YouTube people, you can kind of see the full view of what I'm doing. And if I work over there or anywhere, you can probably see the whole view, as well as you can see some of the paintings that I have here in the background. <clears throat> so let me just move that over just a smidge too. So that can be seen. So that's, that's good. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just take a one moment to set up my palette for today. And um, then I can begin painting. And so I really appreciate you guys being able to come into the studio with me today and work. And be with me as I work on these paintings, on this particular painting, by the way. And um, of course, I can show you other paintings like I just showed you there that I'm working on as well. So, for example, my Barack Obama painting and my Tupac and Nipsey painting. And just as I said before in some other subsequent shows, if you have an idea that you would like to see painted, or if you would like to be a subject in one of my paintings, all this can be arranged. So by all means, get in contact with me, talk to me, and I will immortalize you in some artwork, which would be a really awesome, great thing. Okay, so... Here we are, and I'm just going to just put my colors on the palette right now, very quickly, because there's a lot of things I need to do. Get my main colors down that I, I think I'm going to be working with, and I'll add to it as I go. Add to these bad boys as I go down the trail. Okay, I think that's one more. There's my mod black. Here it is. Okay, so now I can get that. So, <clears throat> all 
All right, so essentially what I'm gonna do is just paint something, all right? And uh, of course, uh, what I want you guys to do is like and share my video, you know? Like it, share it on this channel right now. And also go to my, uh, my YouTube channel and subscribe to that and then come back and hit my inbox. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you out a uh, free painting that I made, absolutely free. I'm gonna read, uh, I'm gonna read uh, artist with a degree in fine arts, as well as a degree in commercial art and cinematography. Uh, I have done a movie, I can show you one of my movie posters, an independent film. So I can do those kind of projects too, whatever you like, can be done. I have a full resources to shoot the whole movies and I shot at least uh, four feature films with my, my uh, production company thus far. Uh, as well as being, I've been a part of a crew on many other projects with other people as well. But in the meantime, what I'm doing is I'm working on these paintings here. Because painting is kind of like my first love in terms of creativity. So that's what I'm doing. And what I'm gonna do first today, is I'm gonna get into some of this uh, this plume here because it's right in the middle of things, right by my Haru character. And um, I think that's what I wanna do. I wanna focus on that. So just kinda, and what I'm doing here is great, because a lot of this is just underpainting. As for right now, basically underpainting for me is just putting the basic colors down, what I want. Then I go back in on a, subsequent uh on a subsequent uh level later and that's when i actually start painting the details some people like to paint the details right away and they work left to right i don't really work that way what i do is i work uh i like to get the overall impact of the painting in you know where are the colors here because basically for me it's a color explosion I really, really respond to color quite a bit. So it is a color explosion that's going on for me. And so I like to respond to that. And I like to respond to that initially in the painting. It keeps me excited. It keeps me painting really, really well. So, yeah, but, but and I, have, I have at least one person who's completed everything I asked in terms of liking and sharing this video, and they will be getting an original piece of art for me. And since I am the green person who shows my work in galleries, my work will be appreciated in value. So you're getting value. So, um, you know, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share this video on Facebook with all of your groups, all of your friends. Also, um, go over to my YouTube, which is under my name, Stephen Foreman. That's my, my official name, I guess, so to speak. Uh, I like to go by Second Rod almost of the time, but you know, uh, for my official name, Stephen Foreman, just go there, look me up on YouTube. I have links also on my site that will tell you where to go and subscribe to my YouTube because I've only had about, um, I guess about four, maybe five subscribers thus far, but nobody has done everything. And then get my inbox and then I will discuss with you uh, exactly how I can get this piece of artwork to you, an original piece of artwork from me to you absolutely for free. And it will look great in your home or office, or you can even give it away as a gift. Um, it doesn't matter to me, as long as someone is enjoying it, that's the most important thing for me. So please like and subscribe to my video, and I will send you off a free uh, piece of my original artwork um, that's my design, my concept, and uh, it will be arriving to you in your mailboxes wherever you are, whatever, wherever you are. Just give me your address or wherever you like it to be shipped to, and I will ship it to you. I will even pay for the shipping as well. So, as and I do this basically as a thank you for supporting me in this little show. And this show that I'm doing, basically we're talking about, um, I wanna feature 
uh, culture, you know? This is about a new modern, uh, to the era, this era that we're in, where people are becoming conscious, aware, politically aware, socially aware, saving the planet, uh, working with indigenous people of the world better, getting our esteem, getting the, the, the esteem of indigenous people up in the world, in terms of our viewpoint, and just making our voices heard. And I like to make my voice heard through art, you know, through making images. One thing about images that's gonna be shown in galleries, they're gonna last a long time. So perhaps hundreds of years from now, perhaps 25, 50 years from now, this may be an era gone by, kind of like the 70s, you know, the, the movements they had during the 70s, an era gone by. So I would like to kind of coin this little era here in art. And uh, I would like to be able to quit my day job. And in quitting my day job, I'll be doing this more and more full time. When I say this, I mean painting. My day job does involve art to some level. You know, creating various media for different industries. Some things that you guys may have even heard of before. I would, I would like to do more of this type of work in the future. And, um, which is basically painting. <laughs> I love painting and I love making scenes. So this is our Renaissance period. This is the Renaissance period for this time that we live in right now, where art should be getting created, music should be getting created. And this is my way of expressing. So I can say, you can help me do this, do this vision that I have by simply liking my video, sharing my video, going to my YouTube, which is Stephen, Stephen Foreman, subscribing to my YouTube and also sharing that and then drop in my inbox, let me know you've done it. And what I would do is send you off a free piece of artwork from me that would do nothing but appreciate the value It's something that can be seen as a investment or a resource or something that will continue to benefit you into the future. So. There we are. So what I'm doing now is I'm just painting in some of this processional. Uh, there's a little like plumed uh, thing there that someone's holding. So I'm kind of painting that in to a certain level. Okay, and um, it's getting that kind of established. So, so just painting that in. And it, there's a lot of little uh, motifs here. And, uh, and most likely you're gonna be a piece of art that looks kind of like this. And, um, or it could be like a piece of art that looks like this. You know, if you want Tupac, just let me know. Hey, look, I want a piece of art. I want your Tupac art. I want a, uh, a, one of your editions of that. And I will send that off to you. Or if you want an Obama piece, like this piece behind me, oops, Obama's head is kind of Cropped off, I mean, blocked a little bit by that easel. I don't believe that, but nonetheless, I can see any one of these pieces. So if you see any other piece of artwork that I've done, I can see you a edition of the, those artworks. Okay? All right. So, and that helps support me as I am trying to do this full time. Just having a show at 5 30 every day. Me coming in here with artwork, and of course, you can make suggestions to me as to what you would like to see uh, me paint next. You know, uh, you, there's some kind of image you're going to see, and also as I take this artwork to the road and come from city to city, if I should venture to city, of course, uh, if I know you well, I will send you an invitation to, you know, a VIP invitation to, to show up and be one of my esteemed guests, of course. So all that stuff is good, and I would just love it be my privilege and honor to do that. All you have to do is like this video, share this video with your friends, and tell other people to come, and then go over to my YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube, and share that, and 
I drop, hit my in inbox and let me know that you've done it. And then what I would do is I would send out a free piece of artwork to you, a gift from me to you. That's what I would do. You would to help me out with just that. And it seems like an easy thing to do. So please, if you can, do that. That would really be great. I really appreciate it. And so what I'm kind of doing, you said, well, geez, uh, Seth, you didn't go and do the coat of mail. Is that how you're going to leave it? Is that how his torso is going to look? That's how his face is going to look? No. This is just my undercoating that I do for my paintings. And it basically is very gestural and it gives me, allows me to see the whole painting. Because after all, this is a very big painting. This is my style and I have a tendency to build layers and create a jewel-like effect with my paint. So the paint is very, has a lot of luster to it. There's a lot of dynamic kind of, it's very dense, really great pigments. A jewel-like effect with the uh, pigments, which uh, is very alluring, you know? And I, I like to work in that particular style of paint. And so I tend to paint with that particular little bit of um, that method works for me pretty good. I've painted in other methods before, uh, but however, I like this one the best because I think I get a great end result. And my work looks more organic. It looks kind of different than somebody who's painting by the numbers. You know, my painting comes from my soul, as I tell people. I don't paint by the numbers, I paint as I feel it. So, what you're gonna see on the screen is a representation of how I felt about that painting and the topic and the subject that I'm dealing with at the time. So, uh, just to give you an idea of some of my philosophy about how I go about a painting in terms of what I, what I feel about it, that's, that's one of them. <clears throat> Okay, again, um, if you were to like this video, subscribe to this video, and share this video, what I would do for you is send you a free complimentary piece of artwork from me to you. All you really have to do is go to also go to my YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share that. Drop in my inbox. Let me know that you've liked the, the Facebook page, shared it with groups and friends and people like that, and tag people. Then go tell me that you subscribe to my YouTube, if you've done that. Then I will send you out a free copy of my artwork. So there we have it there. Okay. And I'm going to just do something very quickly here. Uh, so bear with me. For those on YouTube, you can see my whole palette, everything, and my whole body, everything there. For those on Facebook, you kind of have an angle on my drawings. And sometimes I might drop out of the frame a smidge. But by all means, enjoy uh, the painting, the process for it. Hello? Is anybody in my room? Oh, anyway. Um, okay, so I'm basically uh, just filling in some more of the area, and I'm kind of tackling this area here. So I think I'm gonna develop a little bit more of the Luxor Temple. And I'm gonna go in there with some darker colors and kind of start to build that in some. So I think I wanna scribe this line in some, this brush. And this is good for the Facebook people because you can see this a little bit better. I already have like an undercoat of paint. It's kind of let me know how I want this to go. 
So now I can actually start more honestly painting this painting in terms of getting more detail. And when I paint more detail, I have a tendency to crush more in on the painting to get a little bit more bear down a little bit more on the image and make more exacting lines and brush marks. You don't see me on Facebook Live? It's okay, so that maybe that's okay. Um, Doing Facebook Live. I'm gonna post this because something didn't happen. I'm gonna start another one. Okay, but this is kind of messing the show up. So the only thing I'm, I don't have that many on subscribers on to YouTube. Okay, so now I'm gonna start this live again. I'm in my second raw page on Facebook. And if, if not, I might have to use my phone again. And also, I'm going to tag some people. Because it's a lot of time to tag people. So, I've already started the live. Do you see the live now? Can you see me? You mean something like, oh, reverse it. Flip the group, man. I better hurry up and flip that. I don't know how to. Oh, Okay, so if I see myself, should the camera be already turned and flipped? Oh, it's, oh, you mean rotate it. Okay. Oops, and let me get my... Okay, so... Alright, so we learned this this thing about this. Okay, everybody, I'm sorry. I uh, got a little orientation issue. I'm trying a new camera today. Uh, everything is kind of new because this is a new show. And here we are. And let me just, uh, I'm just going to take a little time to tag a few more people. Okay. All right. So, again, everybody, if you could share my video and uh, like my video, share it to groups, share it to your friends or whoever. They go over to my YouTube. I'm doing YouTube Live as well. And subscribe to that. And then hit my inbox and I will send you a free, in the mail, I will send you a free uh, piece of art from me to you. So by all means, please, please do that. I would really appreciate it. And thank you and I thank you in advance for doing so. Okay. I'm just taking a little time because I'm kind of new, so new at this, so just bear with me. Okay, so got that going. I'm also live streaming on YouTube right now at my Steven Foreman account. Oh, who's sending me hearts? Oh, that's very nice. Well, let me say hi to everybody. Hello, Porch D. Hello, Akra Bata Sanu. What's up? Hello, uh, Shan Shani Sharp. And uh, how you doing, Bernard Akursky? And Shanu Shop again. Who are my painting? Okay. I am painting Haru. These are this is the Luxor Temple here. So here is the Luxor Temple. And there's a processional coming through here. This is a column with one of the uh, Egyptian kings, ancient Egyptian kings here. Okay, an ancient Egyptian king. So this is a column right here. And then this part right here is the Luxor Temple. Right there. And there's a processional, there's a plume, this is an uh, ark, like the Ark of the Covenant, but this is the Ark of Ra, okay? And then there is Haru, or Horus, and then beside him is Hatharu, or Hathor, the queen, which is right here. Up here is going to be the Ra, the bird, pyramids, the sphinx, and she has a fire, a flame coming out, and out of her hand, because she is also Isis, or Aset. So she is a manifester, so that's very good. So all for all you people out there who like that kind of scene, I am doing it. Okay, also I'd like to show you some other work that I've done. <clears throat> this is my 
Tupac, Nipsey, Peace have done. If you can read that, can't fit the whole thing in the screen, but it says revolution. So this is the revolution that we're in now. And you can see there's images depicting the people, the prophets of the revolution, Tupac and Nipsey. They are the main prophets of this revolution. Or not the main, but they're just the ones that have already gone to the other side. And I have brought in the back a oil painting of Barack Obama. I apologize because that is kind of obscured by the easel. And then behind that, I have a feature film. So I actually do feature films too. So if you have an idea for a feature film, by all means, let me know. Of course, you gotta have a little money too. We can perhaps do some kind of collaboration. Okay, so right now I'm doing oil paintings. This is one of my first loves doing oil paintings. And what I wanna do is kind of commemorate our images. Get them in art galleries, museums, and this is going to be a traveling show. So this is going to be something that is going to be displayed in various galleries and museums throughout the country. Hello, Emmanuel Stefan Laurent. What's up? Today, Sharp, Bernard Kursky. Hello, everybody. And of course, my bud, Unk Rapata. It's a new. What's up, brother? Please get that. Please get an original piece of work from me. Full size. This is 40 inches. This is 40 inches by 60 inches. To give you an idea of the scale, it's about a little short of four foot by five foot. And the same thing with the Barack Obama. That's my average size that I usually paint. And here lately, I've scaled up to this size. Thank you, Poor Steve, for saying it looks wonderful. I really appreciate the, the, the word of encouragement. You're the best, okay? Yes, my brother, Hotempu. E M or Temple, E M or Temple. Okay, so anyway, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is um, I'm also streaming this show. It's going to be at 5:30 every day. So I'm also streaming this show on YouTube at my channel, and I'm going to use my my uh, given name, which is Stephen Foreman. That's my show. It's under Stephen Foreman. You can go down on YouTube. I also have links on this page somewhere. But you can get over there to that. And uh, my show on a different view is on YouTube. Same time, 5.30. And also, if you subscribe to my YouTube and you share this page right here and you like this page, I will send you a free complimentary uh, edition of my artwork. You'll get a free complimentary. My location is in Glen Allen, Virginia. I'm lo it's, near Virginia it's near Richmond, Virginia, the capital. It's near the capital of Richmond. That's my location. So I'm, I'm a little bit close to everything, but nowhere. I'm close to Washington, D.C. I'm close to the South, North Carolina. A lot of people come through my area heading to Atlanta. Uh, they don't really stop in my area, they just drive through. <laughs> but that's where I'm located, uh, about 20 minutes from Richmond, Virginia. 20 minutes drive from Richmond, Virginia. That's my location. So uh, that's where I'm located, but I'm making oil painting of our images, of our history, African history. I'm not just gonna do Kemet, I'm also gonna do West Africa. Most importantly, Yoruba, because I have a lot of Yoruba buds, and they're sending me a lot of um, stories from the antiquities of Africa, like our King Arthur's. How's it going, uh, Denzel Pleasant? How's it going? Uh, good to see you. Tracy, Tracy Christie, how you doing? Oh, you did a lot of work since the last I saw you. <laughs> yeah, I kind of did a little something because a couple of the people decided to chill with me after the show and I was very inspired and um, I just kept painting. I just wouldn't stop. I was like the Energizer Bunny. How you doing, Judith? Yasha Harila. How you doing? Okay, let me show everybody that's new what I'm doing here. This is an eight, I mean six foot by almost eight and a half foot oil painting that I'm doing. These are some other paintings I've done of the revolution. I don't know if you guys know, but there's a revolution going on. And I'm making artwork to coin that revolution. There's the prophets of the revolution, Tupac and Nipsey, at least my prophets anyway. Okay, and then behind us, we got the establishment man. I know that some of you guys don't like him, that's Barack Obama. But he had to work with the system, man. You know, it's a flawed system, but his hands were tied, people. His hands were tied, but he was at least a brown fellow like myself calling some shots. He was shot calling, man. So 
At least we had a brother shot calling. Thank you, Tracy. You say you love it. I appreciate it a lot. Shango, what's up, brother? How you doing? Bawane, brother. Bawane, fellow. Oh. Okay, good to see you again, man. Lewis Young, what's up? How you doing? Bawane. Bawane in the Yoruba language means how are you? Peleo is a way of saying hello. They don't really have a word for hello, but it's just a greeting. It's like uh, peace or like whole temp. Kind of means whole temp. Peleo. Peleo. <clears throat> okay, so um, I'm also on YouTube right now, people. So if you want to tune in, I'll be in at 5.30 also on YouTube uh, under my actual given name, which is Steve Foreman. Stephen Foreman. That's my given name. I'm also on YouTube, so you can check me out there. Okay? As well as you can check me out here. It's a different camera angle on YouTube. But share this video and like the video. And then go to my YouTube and subscribe to that. And share that. And come hit my inbox. And I will send you a, an edition for free, complimentary for doing that, of my artwork. So you'll get a piece of my artwork, which is an investment. Because I am a degree fine artist. So therefore, my artwork will appreciate the value. And also, if I travel to your city with my show, if I get in one of your uh, art, if I'm near you in one of my art shows that I'm going to do with this work, I will give you an invitation to that so you can come see how you inspired me. And I will definitely acknowledge every single person who has inspired me. So thank you very much. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of focus a little bit more today on the Luxor Temple. And I think right here, there are ruins of the Luxor Temple, so I have some things to go from. So I'm not just making it up, you know, I'm actually trying to keep this artwork as close to the authentic ruins of, 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 of uh, Kemet as I can. But what I'm doing is, um, I'm using the, I'm using my mind's eye to um, translate the images to what I think it looked like. So you can see the swag of my Haru character. He has his broad axe. He has his sword. He has his uh, a mene, which is his, his crown. He has his mene, which is Uraeus. Then you can see over there, Hat Haru. She's sitting on the throne of Isis, and she has a fireball in one hand. I'm going to paint her with a fireball because. She is a manifester, she's a magic woman. So there we go, and of course I got the Falcon of Ra and some pyramids and, and a Sphinx in the background. So there we are, thank you Trudy, thank you Trudy. Uh, I appreciate that. Just subscribe, Shiny Shop, thank you very much. Appreciate it, much love. O Tempo, e -E -O Tempo. Okay, so um, basically I am painting in this little this little thing that actually comes out the temple here, and this is it's a, a flagpole that goes up. So I'm working on that a little bit more today. Then I'm gonna go down the bottom and work on some of this. Okay, and also, like I say, what I'm trying to do is create a create more images that reflect how we think. That's what I'm trying to do. So in order for me to do that, I like to be able to let my day job kind of my normal way of making making a living kind of subside and do this full time. And by doing that, I'm gonna be doing a show at 5.30 every day. So the way I can do that, the way you can help me do that is to share my video, like my video on YouTube, to share with groups, with friends and everybody, and also go over to my YouTube, subscribe to that, and share that. That would really, really help me a lot. And if you do that, I'm gonna send you a free, complimentary piece of my artwork, edition of my artwork, absolutely free, and it will do nothing but appreciate the value. That's all it would do. So even if you don't want it for your home or office, you can give it to somebody that you know that might like to see those images as a gift. And they will probably appreciate that. Or you can just keep it as an investment. <laughs> uh, or when I do finally fully blow up the way I want to blow up, of course, help me blow up. Um, you would say, hey, I have a Steve Foreman original painting. And uh, you know, a Steve Foreman edition, I should say, painting that I will be sending you absolutely free. So sometimes people say nothing in life is free. Well, that's not true. You get a Steve Foreman painting, and you can get a paint. You can get a, uh, an edition of either one of these. You can get an edition of this one if you want to. Would you rather have something like if you're a 
a music producer and you want some hip hop figures in your studio, you can get a print of that. Now, if you want something big to put on your wall, you can go to my Zazzle.com site and actually order a stretch canvas or a poster of this. Okay, but the stretch canvas is on like acrylic and it looks just like the oil except it's acrylic. And then you got or you get a Barack Obama and I have some other work there as well. Or you can wait till I finish this one and get a version of this one if you should like as well. Okay? Yes, uh, for, uh, for Steve, you are definitely going to get one. You're going to get that. Okay, so thank you, uh, Trudy, uh, for that very nice compliment. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing now is getting back to touching a little bit of painting here. Just getting into that. And basically what I'm doing is right now is trying to paint the shadows in this architecture. I like to paint the darks first. Because, you know, sometimes when you guys enter some of the connect philosophy, everything came out of the blackness, right? The light came out of the darkness. I think even in the biblical tradition, there was darkness first. And God was in the face of the deep. And then, of course, there was light after that, right? So I like to work first in the dark, and painting the shadows. And then what I do is from painting the shadows, I start to reveal the actual shapes in the foreground. So it works for me, so I like to do that. I do have a few blank areas on the, on the uh, canvas, but they don't really bother me because I have more paint now on most of the white areas. So I'm not as bothered as I was when I first started. Now this is about three days worth of painting here. This is my fourth day. This is the beginning of my fourth day of working on this. So this is the result of three days worth of painting. I tend to paint somewhat fast, even this large. Uh, and also, like I say, I would love for you to get an addition of this painting or my Tupac painting or my Barack Obama painting or any of my other paintings. I have James Armistead. I have a lot of other figures from African-American as well as African figures. Little known pieces of history about black oil painted that you can put on your wall, have a conversation piece about. You can get a free complimentary print of any of those from me. Just share this video, like this video, go over to my YouTube, subscribe that, uh, to my YouTube, share that, and then hit my inbox, and we'll make arrangements to send you an original edition of my artwork. Okay? And um, every every day around four o'clock, I mean, I'm sorry, every day at 5.30, I will be here painting. And so it would be very much appreciated because your energy, believe it or not, we say that everything is energy, and it is. Your energy helps me to paint. I mean, yesterday I wound up painting, I guess about 10 hours worth of painting yesterday. Maybe it was 12. I took some breaks, I had the rest. I don't know, it was 12 hours that I spent in my studio. And it was basically because the energy of the people that was talking to me, sharing with me. And sometimes when I do my when I do my real heavy painting, I'm not, I'm kind of ignoring people because it's my really hard, heavy, my real heavy painting. See, right now I'm kind of painting the, I'm not gonna say easier things, but the fun thing. That's a little bit, I can talk and paint that at the same time. But other times I'm painting this stuff where I don't need to bear down. So again, you can get a copy of this. I don't know when I'm going to finish, but if you want to opt for one of these, I can even give you a version of this painting as well. All you have to do is share this video, like this video, and then go over to my YouTube. My, my, my actual Christian name is, I shouldn't even say Christian. My legal name is Steve Foreman, Stephen Foreman. Go over to my YouTube. I have links to my YouTube there and subscribe to that and share that and hit my inbox and I will send you a free edition of my artwork. It'll be uh, acrylic on archivable paper or if you want, maybe a little smaller, it'll be on canvas. Depends on what you want. You want something like normal size like I do, like a really nice presentation. If you like an original, you gotta just call me. My number is actually on my uh, Facebook page, but my number is 804-252-4660. And those I actually custom, I deliver it myself because I'm really, when I give original work, I mean, these are my babies. 
So I don't want them to get damaged. And then also I want the person who owns that now because it's their possession to see the best version of artwork. And I don't trust, I do have delivery services I work with, but um, for the most part, I usually still like to be there even if I use a delivery service. How you doing, Euro uh, L Enoch? What's up? Appreciate you coming in and checking me out. And uh, since I got one or two new people, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of give you the tour. It's a dime tour here. There's a revolution. You see that? There's a revolution. I'm doing oil artwork commemorating the revolution that we're in right now. Yes, we are in a revolution. This is what it feels like to be in one, and we're there. And I'm making artwork that'll be in galleries around the country, and it may be in the city near you. I don't know where you live, but it may be, and you can help me by subscribing to my videos liking my videos and then when it comes to you i will give you credit for one of the people who is in my audience who helped me come along so go to my youtube subscribe that's stephen foreman share this video here i'm here every day at 5 30 please come and give me some of your energy so that i can get through this huge painting here that i'm working on yes it requires a ton of energy yes it does and so i'm going to be needing your help as i paint this Okay, so let me get back to painting a little bit. And if you guys have any pictures, any idea of any scenes that you'd like to see, uh, I'll be more than happy to listen to anything you want to do. And who knows, I might wind up painting one of your ideas. So, or if you want to be the subject of one of my paintings, again, by all means, I'm open for anything. Anything. So. If you want to see yourself as, for example, Haru, or Hat Haru, in an oil painting, bigger than life, I'll be more than happy to accommodate for something like that. Or anything, if you want to be any African king, or if you just want to be a modern African king in a modern uh, scene, you know, I can do that as well, and we can make it really cool. So anything that you can come up with, we can make it happen. We can make that happen. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm gonna start tackling some of this down here. And uh, to do so, I'm gonna mix a little bit different color and kind of get some of these people in the processional here in the show. Because I feel like I've been neglecting them throughout this painting. So now I'm gonna go ahead and commit to getting some of these people painted in. So. I'm gonna go in and paint some arms and legs in. And these, these are actually, what I'm painting now is just the people holding the ark. This is like the Ark of the Covenant that you've heard about in the Bible. This is the Ark of our roof right here that I'm painting. And uh, I was gonna put the Ark of Kanum in there, but since I have the Falcon there, and I, since I have Haru and Hat Haru, I decided to keep the theme, you know, on the Ra topic because they're all related. Ra, Haru, Hat Haru, they're all related in terms of uh, the significance in history in terms of their value with the uh, Kemet people. They're kind of related that way in antiquity. So I want to be related that way also with the, uh, the depiction that I'm making of them. So therefore, uh, I chose to make this instead of the Akka Kanun, which is actually is a is a hieroglyph on the actual walls of Kemet with the Ark of Kanun. This is long before the Ark of the Covenant, everybody who would think about the Ark of the Covenant that's in the Bible. These people were doing these arcs like this. You can even see in the, in the King Tut tomb, there's an Ark with Ampu or, or Anubis. I like to call things by its African name, so I will say Ampu instead of saying Anubis. I would say Haru instead of saying Horus. Just out of respect for the ancestors, you know? Call them by their real name. I mean, if my name is Steven, and then later on, I'm a painter, and you start calling me Robert, or something different, or you call me Sam, you know, it has an S in it, but it's not the same name. Or if my, if my one of my nicknames is Sek Imra, and you're calling me something else, well, I'm not really, I'm not really, not, Okay, and also, like I say, uh, all of my paintings actually tell a story. 
So, <clears throat> you know, it's very interesting to have these stories, and of course, it's our story. And I would like you for you to have an example of these stories. So, if you want to have an example of my work, and say you don't have the funds, or you just want a free piece of work from me, I will give you a free piece of work. All you have to do is like this video and share it, and go over to my Steve Foreman YouTube page and subscribe to it, like it and share it, and I will send you a free complimentary uh, edition of my artwork, which would do nothing but appreciate and value. I will send that to you for free. And if my show, my art show should come to your town, I will try to be in touch with you to let you know that uh, maybe an example of the artwork that you possess is in a show in your town that you can have your friends and family or just yourself come and check out. So by all means, please share, uh, share my video, like my video, and then go over to my YouTube and share it like that. And what I would do is send you a complimentary picture of my artwork. And it could be my Tupac picture, my Obama picture, or any one of the pictures you see on my Facebook page, the paintings that I've already made. If you want an addition of that, or if you want the original oil painting, go to my zazzle.com space. I have links on that to that. And you can order in the price for fine art. This is not just regular art. This is fine art here. I'm a fine artist, the green fine artist, so it's very, very reasonable. You can get print on paper, you can get print on canvas and acrylic or anything like that. So very, very reasonable. But if you want an original oil, uh, you can call my phone number, which is 804-264, I mean, I'm sorry, 804-252-4660, or shoot me an email at secmra 982 at, at, at yahoo.com or you can just hit my inbox and I would love to make an arrangement and again all my prices on everything is negotiable for my original oil paintings it's negotiable so I can fit I can I, miraculously I can fit whatever you want so I just want to get these pieces I can't store all this stuff in my studio so I want to get these pieces into a proper caretaker the proper owner so if you want to have one I will definitely make sure that can happen, okay? Okay, how's it going, Ra, Ra God, Ma, Ra? What's up? How's it going? Thank you, uh, Euro and I, awesome artwork. Thank you very much. I appreciate that compliment. And definitely the oils, the oils will really appreciate the value. The oils will, I don't know, as time go by, it's an investment. It's definitely gonna appreciate the value. I'm going to keep doing this stuff, and I've been doing it, but I'm going to keep doing it. This, hopefully this piece is designed to go into a museum or a top gallery somewhere. So this piece is not designed just to sit on the floor somewhere <laughs> at a small gallery. It's designed to go into a substantial presentation, okay? All right, so what I'm doing now is, um, and what I'm painting now is just the undercoat. I'm painting the undercoat to the paintings. So um, this is not gonna be, by any means, the, the final look of the painting. What I like to do is get color everywhere. I like to attack all of the white areas. Some of you guys have been in my show, you kind of already, you know, that's how I like to paint. And so that's basically what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of just uh, getting the color. I like to respond to color. And just to get the overall look, I like to see the color all over. This is a big painting. I like to back off from the painting and get an idea of what the whole thing looks like when it comes together. And a lot of um, fine artists do this when they're working on paintings of this size. They like to get the whole thing covered. I could paint left to right and leave quite a bit of the painting, you know, white, you know? First of all, you wouldn't see that much. <laughs> I'd be at this point and I'd just be on just a column, you know, and it wouldn't be very exciting. So it's more exciting if I paint this way, where I just kind of paint gesturally at first and get the color down, and then you can kind of see the paint and kind of come into focus. Now again, if you want to uh, get a free version of my work, uh, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to this video, I mean like the video, share the video I should say, and then go over to my YouTube, which is Stephen Foreman, like, I mean subscribe to that and share that, and then drop in my inbox, and I will ship to you free of charge a version of my artwork. 
And uh, I would definitely love to do that. I love to get my artwork in the hands of others. I mean, it's one thing to, it's just kind of like a singer. If I was a, a singer or performer, it's one thing to be in a studio singing, but when you can share your work and produce and publish the work and it get and other people can hear it, that's when it really starts to become, you know, important. You know, you know that you can you can sing and dance or whatever you're doing and perform, but nobody else knows. So the only way I can really get my the only way I can really get my imagery going is I have to put it in your hands. So I would love for you to have my art in your hands. So I would do anything possible to get this work in the hands of the people who want it. I always say there's a, there's an artist for every person. I, I hope to be the artist for the so for the uh, for the conscious community, for the woke community, for whoever, for whoever really. But um, I like painting these kind of images. Right now I'm kind of stuck on it, so I decided you know let's go ahead and just do this all the time. So again. Let me get this in your hands. So the only way I can get, even if you can't necessarily afford to buy an original, you can get one of my free pieces. All you have to do is like this video, share this video, go to my YouTube, which is Stephen Foreman uh, on my YouTube. Subscribe and share that, and then let me know that you've done it in the inbox. I will make arrangements to you to ship that to you, okay? Absolutely free, okay? And, you know, let people know about me. Let people know that I exist, that I'm doing this. You never know. Somebody might want something done and they're looking for somebody like me to do a certain thing. I'll be more than happy to facilitate that as well. And shops, I also will give acknowledgement to anybody to help me to do something that I really appreciate, which is some art. So I appreciate everything and I'm a very, very... I'm very, very thankful for everything you guys do. If you share this video, I'd be very thankful of that, of you doing that. Like I say, I like to be doing this full time without having to stop and do other things. And the way I can do that is by you liking this video, sharing this video and letting people know that this is what I'm doing. And then going over to my YouTube page and subscribing to that and sharing that with your friends so that they know that I'm doing this too. Cause I just want everybody to know this is what I'm doing. I need, I need as many people as I can to know this is what I'm doing. And then for that, I will give you a complimentary piece of artwork as a gift. Yes, because I'm trying to reach a wider view now. So in order to do that, if you was to do that for me, that would help me substantially and I, you would get a free piece of my artwork. So that's what that would do by doing that. You will help me reach a wider view with this mission that I am on right now. And again, I will send you a free complimentary piece of artwork or even more, you can actually order one of my editions in acrylic or you can order an original oil, an oil that's, that's completely hand painted, uh, that should hold quite a bit of value. And um, all of my works will hold value, but the oils hold quite a bit more. And uh, I would love to get an oil to you. Most likely if it's oil painting, it has to be specially shipped. I mean, I, these are so big, some of them, or they're so precious even to me. I don't know if I trust an Amazon truck. <laughs> to deliver them or uh, FedEx or anybody like that. So uh, I do use a special art service to deliver these uh, original oils. I do use UPS to deliver the acrylics um, because they tend to be about 40 inches by 60, but anything that's huge, then I definitely would have to use, or I feel like I need to use special delivery service to get that to you. Anything over about 40 by 60 inches, if the UPS and all of the other delivery people just don't do the same job. <clears throat> okay, again, um, okay, I'm getting some little thumbs up there. I appreciate that. Uh, Mayo, wa, ma, vu, nu, na, vu. Thank you for joining. Okay, since I have a new person joining, I'm going to pan over again once more. Show you the revolution. 
Like I said, yes, we're in a revolution. There's the prophets of the revolution. There's Nipsey. There's Tupac. They're in the urban scene there, doing their thing, putting their message out. You guys know what they have done. Then in the background, we have the first melanated president of the United States. Of course, he was doing the official position. Uh, and of course, what we have here is we have um, Haru, Hot Haru, the Temple of Luxor, and a processional of Ra going on in this particular scene here. And this is a column here. Here is a column. This right here is a column that I'm making. It's going to look more like a column once I finish painting it. And it has some hieroglyphs of a king uh, doing his libations or whatever. And then we have some pictures of the seated uh, king in front of the Luxor temple. We have Haru. And then we have by his side, always by his side, Hat Haru or Hathor. Okay. And, um, and there's a column on the other side of her. There's pyramids in the background, a round falcon. And a, and a sphinx. So that's what's in this painting here. I have a nice kind of like rock uh, sun and the sky is all filled with color in this uh, particular uh, design here. And again, uh, if you'd like to get even a version of this painting, just share this video, like the video, and I can send you off any version. Well, not any version, but my uh, acrylic versions of my artwork to you absolutely free. All you have to do is subscribe to this, I mean, share this video, like this video, go over to my YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube, like and share there, and I will send this off to you. Absolutely 100% free. So, you know, like I said, I can get my artwork into people's hands so, so people can get to know this is what I'm doing. And, uh, also, it gets you guys a chance to uh, to uh, own an original piece of artwork by you probably already much of you might already own some artwork, but by is a conscious artist. Let's put it that way, or an artist that is very much part of the revolution. Let's put it that way. Okay, I'm going to say it that way. Very much part of the revolution, and I'm making. I want to coin this era, this time. You know, put out images in some galleries, not just on the street, but put out image in the galleries and established galleries of what we're doing, you know? And one thing about getting your stuff out is that, is that it will be remembered because it's artwork. So it'll get in a place where somebody's gonna take care of it for time in the future, you know? Not just for now, but for the time in the future as well. So, um, that's a good thing. So in order for me to do this vision, I would need you to like this video, share this video, and also I'd like you to go to my YouTube and subscribe to that. That will help me get more people into my show and knowing about me so that I can continue to do this. So I really appreciate it. And um, I will give you, as, as a token of my appreciation, a free complimentary piece of my artwork for doing so. Okay. Uh, every day about 5.30, I will be here doing this show just like this. And you'll see my work update. You'll see how the painting is progressing. Uh, and then when I go to my next painting, I think my next painting might be Ra on the Throne. Or I might do one of the Yoruba Orisha, basically the goddesses and gods of West Africa. I might do that next, you know? You guys seen the movie, The Gods of Egypt? Did you see anybody looking like us? Well, I'm making work that look like us right now. So you say, well, I wanna see something that look like us. Well, then support people like me because I can influence those people to make more stuff like us. So through my paintings. So uh, that's one way to get it done. It's one way to get it done. You help me by liking and subscribing and sharing liking this video, sharing this video, and going over to my YouTube and subscribing and sharing there, and we can get our images out. So I'm not making any excuses anymore, I'm doing it. So if you guys could help me out, that would be great because I'm on the move now with this. So please help me on this journey that I'm on. Really please help me. 
And like I say, the way you do that is by helping me to get the word out of what I'm doing by liking the video, sharing the video, and then going to my YouTube, subscribing to that, sharing that. Then hit my inbox. And what I would do is I will make arrangements to get the artwork sent to you. Now, when I send this artwork out to you, it might take about, you know, generally the, the, the shipping through the post office or whatever, or UPS or FedEx is about, you know, three to five business days. Some places, if it's going, I'm on the East Coast, so if it's going to the West Coast, it might take a little bit longer. And then some of the work I really have to actually order, or not order, but I have to actually get it together, let's put it that way. And because I want to make sure it gets to you fine. So I might fool around with it for about two or three days just to make sure it's packaged right and safely to arrive to you safely. You know, I'm not charging you for any of that shipping and handling. I'm just doing that absolutely free for you for liking my video, sharing my video, and then going over to my YouTube and uh, subscribing to my YouTube and also sharing that as well. And what that will get you is an original piece from me to you. And I, again, I, in, in advance, I'm going to thank you very much for helping me out with this and putting our images in the fine arts arena. Putting our image, not just in arenas, not just on social media, but putting our images in the fine arts arena as well. Which is very important because we want to be in all the genres of, 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 of modern culture. We want to be in fine art as well as in the popular arts. We're already in the popular arts, so I want to try to get us more in the fine arts as well. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Aunt Ra Pata Sanu. I appreciate it. It's okay. I shared, like, great job, brother. Thank you, brother. You're very encouraging to me. I appreciate you a lot, man. You don't know how good that makes me feel, too. Okay, so um, <clears throat> sometimes artists are underappreciate. You know, we oftentimes like carry it away somewhere. You know, I'm a study of history as well as I like art. So that's why I like uh, ancient Egypt or ancient Kemet is what I call it. <clears throat> I like history. And therefore, I also like to paint about history. Um, and I think that's my calling. My calling is to paint African images, African American images. I'm gonna, I've done a painting on James Armistead. For you guys who don't know James Armistead, you can go to my albums and go to my artwork and click on James Armistead, and I have a whole write up on what he, do, he has done for this country. People say, well, okay, every time I see an African American person, they're a slave or something. Well, this guy was the first, you know, I'm gonna say, I can say the enemy, but he was the first intelligence agency for the United States when it wasn't any intelligence agency. I'm sure you guys are familiar with Benjamin Banneke. When the, and he laid out the Washington, D.C. area. He did the Almanac, and he was a cartographer. He did all the maps all the way up from Canada of the U.S., the most accurate maps that they've had when this country was first getting started. It was an African person from the Dogon tribe. However, James Armistead and James Armistead Lafayette it's the whole reason this country exists. Not George Washington, he didn't plan the siege of Yorktown. A black African man named James Armistead did. And you can read about that and get the real story from my own personal scholarship. And also I was inspired to make a painting of that. Now that painting of, that I did on that one is not quite as involved as this one. But what I did was I made a copy of the paintings that was done of him, the, the painting that was done of him was done contemporary to his life. Um, and it's in the Boston Museum right now. And a lot of African Americans don't know that. This guy is responsible for the siege of Yorktown that defeated John Cornwallis. To put it in perspective, Cornwallis was one of the best generals other than Napoleon. He was the Englishman who was considered the best general in the whole world. And he was defeated by an ex-African American slave named James Lop, and, and also I live near the city of Richmond, and in the Valentine Museum, in a loft hidden away, is a portrait of James Armistead underneath the stairwell. You have to actually go there and ask to see the painting. It should be over in the Capitol building with George Washington, but it isn't, and it is a portrait of, you know, we say, well, some of the first uh, presidents, we had some presidents that was black, but we also had people who actually planned the Revolutionary War, the success 
that George Washington lost almost every battle, if not everyone. He was always retreating and running. The only time he, they made a checkmate was when the black man orchestrated it, James Armistead. So read about him. He's one of the forgotten heroes, uh, Africa, uh, forgotten African-American heroes who he was actually uh, adored by even the white colonials of his time. So um, for all it's worth, um, yes, there was Africans that were still enslaved after this was over, but they thought they, that they would be free. James Armistead was one of those people who thought that he would be freed. And of course, they put the trick on him. They put him back into slavery. And it wasn't until Lafayette was ready. He did the revolution in Europe based on black folks. A lot of people don't know that the revolution was based on what black people were thinking at the time here. And based on what he had learned from his good buddy, James Armistead. They was buddies with Lafayette. I mean, we never asked ourselves the question, well, why was Lafayette so important? Lafayette was, they don't tell you about any battles he won because they're trying to hide the fact that he got all of his intel, he got all of his information to win the wars from James Armistead. They want to hide that because we wouldn't have a country if it wasn't for James Armistead. So if you go to my albums and go to my panties to see James Armistead, read that right up. It tells you the true story about a real African hero and we wouldn't have an America. So everybody that comes and say, what are the African Americans done to contribute to this country? Well, you can tell him you wouldn't have a country if it wasn't for James Armistead because he planned the whole success of the Revolutionary War because the British was kicking our butt. They were kicking the Americans' butt in every single battle. And Gold Wallace was going to wrap this thing up. It already defeated them in, 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 in Philadelphia, kicked them out of New York like three, four times. And a lot of people don't realize that a lot of the people that was really revolutionary people then were actually African people. That's true. But we got suppressed, like we always do. How's it going, Kenosi Magahi Kambanja from Banju? I tried, brother. I tried. You know, my English, my English is, is messing with your with your name pronunciation, but uh Kenosi no mangu kembangu. That's the best I can do it. Tamana Morris, how you doing? Thank you for tuning in. Denise Porch, thank you for tuning in. And Mayo, what's up? Thank you for tuning in. And I'm going to show you also <clears throat> some other paintings that I've completed already. This is a revolution. I tell everybody, we're in a revolution. This is what it feels like. You know, if you was a hippie back in the 60s, something similar to what we're doing went, went on then. These are the prophets of the revolution. There's Nipsey Hussle, and then there's Tupac and an urban scene. This is a 40 inch by 60 inch oil painting. Uh, over here is a picture of the guy, the only melanated brother that actually was the president of this U.S. of A. And he was, he's had his hands tied. I know people have negative images about him or negative things to say, but he had his hands tied. He only could do for so much. He was one man against the whole system, but he tried to work with the system. He tried to make people believe in something greater than him. And of course, didn't happen. So you can't, you can't run anything. You can't be a boss without good willing people's subjects. He didn't have that. Okay. And then also, uh, I did a feature film called Inexplicable Epiphanies. I've done a couple of feature independent films. If you'd like to get a film made, that's one of the art forms that I do as well. I have a full production team and facility, 30K of lights. I got a, a, a film truck, a film van. It's independent. I mean, it's not Hollywood level, but I can make a good picture if I need to. It's like I ain't camera with this. So, if you have an idea of getting something done, you gotta have a little money though. You don't have to have a lot because that's my niche. I can make stuff happen with just a little bit of money. And I can make it look like it was done with a whole bunch of money. So give me a call. My phone number is on my Facebook page, all over my stuff. Give me a hit. I'd be more than happy to talk to you about anything you wanna do. When it comes down to art, I can do it. Now, some other things, my knowledge of history, I'm not the best on everything, but I do try to study. I never profess to be the number one, but I read some stuff when I'm not painting. And what I do is I try to visit places. I would love to be able to paint in Africa and the Caribbean or South America somewhere, or just anywhere else other than US is only. That would be great to actually go to see some authentic contemporary people doing their thing and make some art from that. And if you like to see yourself in a painting, 
by all means, I can do that. Or if you have an idea for a painting, all this can be done. And you never know, I might decide to do that idea and paint it in oil painting. I don't know what order it'd be because I have already a bunch of ideas that I want to paint. <laughs> More ideas than I can possibly paint, by the way. But um, that's it. So right now I'm kind of working on the uh, the little uh, the tip of Luxor and uh, kind of I like to paint into the shadows first. I'm kind of painting in line. I usually don't paint in line. I usually paint shapes, but. So you can see it better and it's easier for me to do it talk at the same time. I'm just gonna paint a line. And again, if you like me to continue to do this, and I would love to be able to continue to do this all the time, I'm here at 5.30 on a regular basis. Share the video, like the video, go to my YouTube, subscribe to it, share and like it, and then hit my inbox and let me know you've done so. I'll make arrangements to send you a free edition of my artwork absolutely free ship to you absolutely free for helping me out and helping me get my vision helping me get myself so i am known for doing just what i'm doing now so i appreciate your help so please uh take advantage of my complimentary piece of art and then even if you don't want the art for yourself it will make a great birthday gift i know it's a lot this is a pisces month so it's a lot of pisces pisces people love getting gifts and it was an Aquarius month, so you have an Aquarius, they love getting gifts too. So all those people you can hit with a nice piece of artwork, especially if they're into Kemet or if they're into uh, anything that's uh, pro-black or not even pro-black, I don't want to say that, anything that has African imagery. Because we are underrepresented in almost every image genre, whether it's Hollywood, we focus on Hollywood the most, but even in the fine arts community, we're underrepresented. So what I'm trying to do is balance that. We're trying to balance that to get more of the type of images we like into the mainstream and into the fine arts mainstream. And there's some other artists doing that now, but I want to do my contribution to it as well. So, so you know, the more, the more, the, the merrier, the better. And of course, if you say, well, how come we only have slave uh, movies and slave things? Well, art, visual, fine art reflects what you see on television. So if you want to be re represented in the movies of other than something other than slave, the next time they do a movie about the gods of Egypt, <laughs> instead of us being the person fanning the people, we might be kings this time if they see more of us melanated people in the theater and in the, in the uh, museums and the galleries depicted as Haru and ha Haru as the kings and queens, which actually they were. But it is a perception because we don't have enough images out there of ourselves doing it. In terms of contemporary, I'm talking about modern images. We don't have modern artists, artists out there putting the image out. So therefore, the image that a lot of people have is that it's a European image. The Europeans are out producing us in terms of images that they're putting out there. So guess what I want to do? I want to put our images out and for me to do so I'm going to need your help. So I'm going to need you to subscribe to this video to help me. I need you to share, I mean I need you to like the video, I need you to share it. And then I need you to go to my YouTube and like and share that. And I will do my part in getting our image going and I will send you also as a compliment a free piece of art from me shipped to you for free for doing that for me. And then if I should come to your town with my artwork, um, I will probably be on the show every day at 5.30 anyway, and I'll let you know, but I can shoot you an email or something like that, let you know that, hey, you have one of my original works. If you like, you can actually show, see the art show that's in your town if I happen to come to a town near you. <clears throat> so I would appreciate that. And I like to be able to it'd be my dream actually to get that going big time, not just on a small scale, but pick up my scale a little bit, get it going a little bit more big. And of course, that is something I would love to be able to do on a full time basis. And I cannot do that unless I build up my note, you know, who I am on social media. And I do that by having you to like the video, share the video. 
And then also go to my YouTube, like, subscribe, and share to that. And then I'll send you a complimentary piece. So thank you very much in advance. Thank you very much for that. So what I'm doing in the painting is I'm actually painting into the shadows. And for you guys, it's about three days worth of work. Actually, I'm, um, what am I, about an hour into this, <laughs> this day, into this show. So I'm three days, and the average amount of time I've been spending on these is about six hours a day. So this is about 20 hours worth of work right here. What you're seeing here is about 20 hours worth of work. So just to give you an idea of the, the pace that I work at, and mostly what I'm painting out is the undercoating to the painting. I'm painting out the undercoating. And these are basically gestural marks to kind of let me know what I'm gonna, when I start painting detail, it kind of lets me know how I want the energy of the painting to go. And yes, everything is energy, especially art. Artists know this more than anything. Musical artists, I think also, because they are working with frequencies and they're working with tones and all that. But you know what? Visual artists are doing the same thing. Colors have frequencies in the, in the, in the color scope. And images do affect us emotionally, which is a, spirit, is a spiritual experience. And almost every culture that produces any kind of spiritual system also produces, guess what? Images. That's a part of the whole thing. So that's my part of it, is to produce the images. For well, everything that we're experiencing now, I want to produce images for that and get that going. Okay, so I think I need this, this, this king, this statue of the king here. He needs a face. Let me go ahead and start his face in. Okay, all right, let me check the room. Okay, Unk Rock Fata Sinu. Hey brother, I'm an artist as well. Can you cite venues for fine arts for artists like us? Well, I'm gonna tell you a uh, venue, what, this is what you should do, okay? For all you artists out there that is aspiring, because I think the people that are sticking with me really, really well are artists who wanna get themselves out as well. What you gotta do first is paint. You can see I spent, I told you I spent about I mean, yesterday I spent about 12 hours painting. I make a body of work, you know? Like you see I have, this is just some of the work that I can fit into the studio right now. I got work stored other places. Make yourself a body of work. Okay, once you do that in your town, take photos of all your artwork. Take photos of all your artwork. You wanna, I say have a ground game. I take this like a military plan. You know, I'm a bit of a military planner in my own right. So handle it like that, like a military plan. So what you do is get a ground game. A ground game is get your physical tanks, artillery, pieces, infantry in position. So that if somebody was to come through your village, you can handle that. But anyway, that you have to secure. So get your artwork done. That is your tanks. You put in your stuff in position. For example, one of my tanks is, my big tank is this one. This is my stealth bomber right here. Okay, this right here is, is my Apache helicopter. I'm dropping behind the scenes, putting commandos in. Here are my commandos right here. You get, that's your aces. You know, you guys who play poker or whatever your game is, you got you need an ace, you know? You need something that's gonna get you, that's gonna cut the deck for you. You make your pieces that's gonna cut your deck. Then what you do is you take good, high quality photographs of that. I take my own because I'm a photographer also. But if you're not a good photographer, but you're a good painter, take it to somebody who's a professional that can light it well and put it on your iPad or put it on your phone or print them out and put them in a little, just sandwich it between some cardboard. It doesn't matter, but take care of them. Make sure they're very neat and go to your local galleries first and say, this is the work I'm doing and learn to get that feedback. Learn to get that feedback. They're gonna tell you a bunch of things. They're gonna shoot you down. They're gunslingers. You know what a gunslinger is? The town ain't big enough for the two of us and you're a new artist in town and I don't like you. That's good because they're gonna tell you everything that's weak about your work. Write that stuff down. Don't take it as negative, write it down. But then you use that for the next person you go to and you're gonna find your art curator. So you wanna find an art curator. An art curator is a person who is a dealer, 
a high baller. They're generally a millionaire billionaire that trades work. Just like you go to the stock market and you trade work, you trade art. Billionaires buy art. Millionaires buy art. The average middle class person, they might not be buying originals like this. You know, an original like this could be $20,000, $40,000, 50 dollars <laughs> A piece like this might be $5,000 or $10,000. Perhaps it's really whatever the artists want to make it. Of course, when you're trying to get yourself established, it's whatever. And, uh, but take that and keep going until you find somebody. You, you Like, for example, I'm in Richmond, so I might not be able to find up a farmer people that like pictures of flowers and meadows and dogs and cats and stuff. They might not be into the chemistry stuff, but I might have to mosey up to DC area, drop down to Atlanta, going on up to New York somewhere. But eventually you're gonna find a curator that says, God, dog, I like this work. And they're gonna, they're gonna ask you to hold on to your work. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna, you gotta give them something. In, in, in life, there's nothing free except the pictures I give you for sharing my video liking my video and going to my YouTube channel, which is Stephen Foreman, subscribing to that channel. I will send you a free piece, but the curators ain't gonna give you nothing. They're gonna take about 35%. They're gonna wanna sell your work real bad and you're gonna let them sell it. And they may take up to 50%, but you better believe it. They're gonna take 50%, they're gonna get your work sold into somebody's hands. And that's what you wanna do. Don't worry about it, you still got 50%. So. You know, that's part, of, that's part of the business. The main thing is you want to get your work sold for a certain amount. And something that you can sustain yourself with. So that's how the game is played. Then once you do that, you can do exactly what I'm doing now. Once you get that going, that's going to put some money in your pocket. And you can now buy your paints, buy your brushes, and buy your canvases. And you can work and you can feed yourself and you can have a place to live. It's not raining and snowing on you. But then you would do exactly what I do. You go on the internet, show your work on social media, tell people to like my videos, <laughs> share my, my lives, and go to my YouTube and like and share that. Because then you can share the acrylic version of your work for a cheaper price. And that would be like $2.99, $1.50, something like that, um, for the acrylic version of your original work. And if I had to give you a game plan, I don't know what the question that you asked. Let me read it again. Some venues. You created art artists are the most disrespected. Sometimes people, I hear a lot of people, women say, why do black men disrespecting us? And I hear a lot of black men say, why do black women disrespect us? Well, ask an artist about being disrespected. We're some of the most disrespected people on planet Earth. We come in all tones and shades. So we're used to it. We're looking at people and saying, what the world are you talking about disrespect? You don't even know what disrespect is yet. But we're disrespected. So you have to create your own venue. Nobody's going to create that for you. And that's how you do it. You create it by simply having your ground game of doing that. So every time you visit a city, for example, you, you're, I'm going to suppose you're from New York, right? Say you wind up going out to California. You got your iPad mini with you. And you... You go look at the director and find a bunch of art galleries in California and say, look, this is some of my work. I like to have it. I like to have you carry my work on a regular basis. And let's talk turkey. You know what they're going to do when they talk turkey? They're going to get you in a the room. They're going to try to get you for 35%. And some of the better ones give you better. They take only 15%. But they're going to get you for 35% or 50%. You say yes. Just say yes to it. Act like you're going to say no. Frown at them because you don't want to look too desperate and get them to say yes, I'll carry your work and ship that work to them and let them carry that on a regular basis in their shows. What they're gonna do for you is they're going to put you, um, they're gonna put you in, a, they're gonna do a write up on you, they're gonna put you in some art magazines, they're going to maybe do a local show, you know, where they get the channel six or whatever, little yokel, local yokel show and you, you might appear on it and get some interviews and then when they have the local galleries and museums, they might give you a day where they show some of your work. All that stuff is gonna help you. So you create a venue that way. That's how you create a venue. Then once you get a little buzz in your local town, the, the rich people in your town or the town that you're in, they're gonna start buying your work. They're gonna start speculating on a horse. It's like a horse race. They're gonna say, how is this guy's work doing? This guy is gonna be a good person to invest in. So you wanna make sure you let them know you're gonna keep working. Your medium is adornment and jewelry. Okay, well, jewelry is different, but jewelry could be art too. So, 
since you're a chemi chemitologist like me, you want to sell your work as art, as fine art jewelry. Not as jewelry jewelry because you're going to be making, be working a lot, making a little bit of money. So make your jewelry as spectacular as you can and put your jewelry in art shows. Do the same thing, but do it with your jewelry. So when people buy your jewelry, they're not buying it because uh, they can go over to Kane's Jeweler or whatever jeweler company and find something cheaper. They're buying it because they can't find your stuff anywhere else. And the car curator is going to be there find the people who like your shtick. They're going to like your thing. So you got to find the people who like your shtick. And you got to find a curator or art director who likes your shtick. And then sell your work for 20 times more than it costs because your work is now art. So I would suggest that if you're doing jewelry. Otherwise, you're going to have to be doing a lot of production. I would get into casting your work. How's it going, Marlo Lane? Appreciate you coming by. Let me show you some of the things I'm doing. I have an eight by a six by eight and a half foot oil painting that I'm working on. This is some of the uh, revolutionary work that I'm doing. We're in a revolution now. The Prophets of the Revolution, Nipsey Hussle, Tupac Shakur, and Urban Scene. In the background, we had a melanated president of our U.S. of A. Barack Obama. Yes, he had his hands tied, but. For good or bad, he was a brother that was in a position, okay? He had it. We ain't had nobody else, so we got him, so I'm gonna claim him anyway. Then in the background, I have a feature film that I've done. I could do that too, so you guys have a film idea, I'd be more than happy. Then I do some jewelry too, uh, brother, uh, brother, uh, Pata, brother, brother, Unc Ra Pata Sanu. I do some jewelry as well, but I do my jewelry as art jewelry. Usually I sell my jewelry to other artists who want some swag. You know, when they're going to do their show, they're not going to necessarily wear like what everybody else wear. They're going to wear some art clothes. They're going to wear some art jewelry. So I do some custom jewelry for other people or artists who want to have symbols of themselves as an art, or as an artist. Just like you have um, Tupac in this, in this, this picture here. He has the kind of um, stuff. This medallion that he had made, which it says uh, Death Row Records, that was given to him by Show Avery. That is what you're talking about. Those are the kind of people that's gonna buy your stuff. And okay, so anyway, um, I don't know. Um, I don't know uh, everything you guys. You have any questions like that? You can also get in my uh, get in my um, in my inbox and talk to me about anything. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions, even specific things. Yes, we can collaborate, man. Like I said, hit my inbox and we get to talking. You're already talking to me. Let's talk some more. Okay, so um, I have one person, Mr. Uh, Shing Yin. I think he's from Jamaica Mine. Jamaican Mine. And this is some of this is Tupac Shakur, the prophet of the revolution. We're in a revolution now. And Tupac and Nipsey, uh, oil paintings, Barack Obama. And then right now I'm painting a six foot by eight and a half foot oil painting. And Brother Akin Akaten Komo Hope Temple the Third. How's it going, brother? Thank you. Nice work. I appreciate it. And like I say, brother, you're already in my inbox and we're talking, so let's keep talking. I'm very talkable. So just uh keep keep going. Yeah, you see me wearing a piece I made already. I have another one with the uh the symbol, the African symbol for God that existed way before the Star of David. I made that one out of sterling silver. And uh, I wore that the other day when I had a black shirt on. I think this one matches this shirt better. These are my art shirts. They don't look like much, but I get oil paint and I destroy shirts like crazy. So uh, I have a shirt deficit, you know, because I walk around everywhere with uh, oil paint all over my stuff. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to, um, I'm going to wind up closing this painting, this session up, because I make these last about an hour to about 30 minutes. And uh, so that's basically what I do these sessions for. However, if you want to uh, talk to me and still be able to see me paint, uh, I could do some uh, private, you know, more private, but I want to do this show. I don't want it to be too long. Sometimes people see a show that's too long, a live that's too long, and they don't watch the whole thing, you know? Because the, the, they see the, the, the live actor. So I don't want to make them too long, but you can always hit me up. I'm also on Facebook. I'm live streaming on Facebook as well. The same time, 5.30, every day. I'll be here painting every day. This keeps me painting every day. To keep me painting every day, I need you to share the videos, like my videos, go to my YouTube, subscribe to that, and share that, and like that. 
And in, in doing so, what I'll do is hit my inbox and I will send you a free edition of my artwork, absolutely free, ship it to you absolutely for free, for doing so, okay? And my YouTube is Stephen Foreman, but I have links to that all throughout this page. And I will give you a free piece of artwork. So even if you can't buy one, you can get some of my artwork for free. Just for liking this video and sharing this video, go to my YouTube, subscribing to that, sharing to that, just hit my inbox. I'll make arrangements to ship that to you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this particular live today. I appreciate everybody for coming, for coming to check my stuff out. Thank you, uh, Brother Akin Nocten, uh, Como Hope Temp the Third. I appreciate that. And uh, nice work. Going good. Yeah, man. Doing your thing. Can't wait to see it finish. Yes. This is about, this is about three and a half hours of work. I mean, basically, I've been here for about an hour and a half. So this is uh, basically uh, three six-hour days work for work maybe seven hour days plus an hour and a half what I've done. So I'm kind of getting a gauge as to how long it'll take me to finish it based on that. So uh, like I say, like this video, share this video, go over to my um, YouTube, subscribe to that, and I'll send you a, a free version. Or if you want to actually get an oil, uh, an oil painting, just negotiate with me directly. I'll have that sent to you as well. Uh, or if you want to get an acrylic uh, edition of this, you can go to my Zazzle.com. It will be delivered right to your door via UPS. And you can just go to a link that I have for Zazzle. I have those all over my website, all over my Facebook as well. And uh, it will be shipped directly to you. And the prices are very reasonable. That's if you want to get something that's about 40 by 60 inches or smaller or bigger. You can actually pick any size you want on Zazzle. Okay? Thank you very much. And I'm going to go ahead and end this live now. And I appreciate everybody for coming. Remember, like, share, Subscribe. Thank you.